So it's a yearly tradition for me to look at the Game Award nominees and make a video on it. The problem is I never, um, I never know like half of what's even in here because, you know, I'm on cultured. <laughs> So we're going to look at, you know, well, we're going to look at most of this stuff. Also, I don't know what player's voice is, but apparently that doesn't open until December, so I guess it doesn't matter. So, um, we're going to, I'm going to do what I usually do. I'm going to go like backwards and work my way up to uh, game of the year. Also, this, this website is like really freaking laggy. I don't know if that's because of my PC or what. Eh, whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna skip the eSports stuff, because nobody ever cares about that. Um, not that I know Content Creator of the Year, either. <laughs> like, um... How do they even decide on who to pick for this stuff? Like, who, who are these people? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna skip that, because I don't know. Uh, most Anticipated Game... See, now, honestly, honestly, these are all, like, pretty solid picks. The other one I'm not really too familiar with is Monster Hunter, but, like, these are all really solid choices. But most of the people usually don't pick Nintendo for some reason. <laughs> it's probably gonna be, like, I mean, honestly, I don't know. GTA 6, though, <laughs> that's been anticipated for, like, 10 years, so maybe it's gonna be that, I don't know. Um, this is like, uh, adaptations, so it's when they make like a TV show, right? I didn't even know there was a Tomb Raider show. I actually have seen my parents watch, uh, the Fallout show. My dad might watch it too, I don't remember. Uh, we got Nucleus. Why, why is that here? Knuckles was fucking terrible. <laughs> why was, the, why is that in here? You're, not, you're gonna pick that and not, like, Sonic 3. I guess Sonic 3 isn't out yet, so they can't pick that. Kind of a shame. And I, I didn't know, um, Yakuza got a show. That's kind of interesting to me. Honestly, if anything deserved to get a show, it's definitely, uh, either he followed or Yakuza, though. Those seem, those seem like they just, you know, fit really well with, um, you know, TV shows. Uh, best multiplayer game. Well, there's, uh, there's Mario Party. You guys already know my opinions on Mario Party. I don't know. They, they got a obligatory, um, obligatory Call of Duty, uh, cho like, choice on here. <laughs> Although, I don't know, maybe Black Ops 6, Black Ops 6 is good. I haven't heard anything about it. Tekken 8 I heard is good. Not a, nobody in my friend group talks about Warhammer, and I don't think anybody I know talks about Helldivers either. So there's that. Uh, best sports and racing. Uh, I don't care about these, honestly. Best sim and strategy. Um, the only one I really know about is Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> I've heard about that game for, you know, different reasons. Uh, best family game. Honestly, um, Astrobot. <laughs> Astrobot should win, maybe. I kind of, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot Peach Showtime came out. Well, hey, look, Mario Party has two chances to win now. <laughs> and, uh, Echoes of Wisdom is still pretty new, and Plucky Squire was pretty hyped up as well from what I heard. Oh hell yeah, look, Sparking Zero, it's there. We got Sparking Zero, we got Marvel. That's just a fucking collection, bro. That's just a freaking collection of old games. And that's apparently, apparently that's allowed to be at the Game Awards. Apparently a collection of a bunch of old Marvel Capcom games can be at the Game Awards now. Uh, Multiverses, Deadass Forgot That Game Exists, I never even played it, but it is in my Steam library. And, uh, Tekken 8. I know my face cam is gonna be covering, kind of, the right side of the screen. I'm trying. <laughs> this is kind of where a green screen would be helpful, so I can, you know, cut out more of the stuff. But also, setting up a green screen is kind of annoying. 
Best RPG. <laughs> Elden Ring. Oh, Metaphor. Metaphor is there. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, unsurprisingly, to nobody. I didn't even know that I didn't even know Like a Dragon is an RPG. I guess it is. Oh, here. I'm surprised it took until now for Silent Hill to show up. But yeah, I really liked Silent Hill too. I didn't play the remake, but I played the original, so I could definitely see why Silent Hill 2 would deserve to be here. Um, Echoes of Wisdom again, Prince of Persia. I heard that was pretty good. Um, and Astrobot again. See, that's, that's always the problem with the Game Awards, is a lot of games get nominated like three to four times. <laughs> so you're gonna see a lot of repicks, which is... Sadly, that's just a thing that's always gonna be the case for the Game Awards. So we got Best Action Game, you know, it's... Not much more I can say on that, honestly. Best VR, which I also don't have any opinion on. Mobile games. <laughs> Wait, Bellatro's a mobile game? Pokemon trading card game Pocket. I did not know that is a thing either. Oh, and yeah, obligatory Zenla Zone Zero reference. <laughs> yep. Can't go two seconds without Ellen Joe Menu Sniggle. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really in the mobile game space. Oh, well, hey, I got some indie games too. You know, that's pretty good. I'm not really the one who should be talking about indie games, though. I don't really play very many. Wait, hang on. So there's best indie game and best independent game. <laughs> Aren't those, like, the same thing? <laughs> Aren't those the same fucking thing? I did hear about UFO 50, though. Best community support. So, you know, I think, I think, I think Fortnite's gonna be at, like, the next 10 game awards, bro. No Man's Sky, Helldivers, Fortnite, Final Fantasy XIV, I always forget what number that is, and Baldur's Gate 3. That's when, like, uh... Yeah, that's when, like, they're really good with their fans, I guess. Best ongoing game, it's mostly the same shit. <laughs> I guess Diablo 4 is popping off? I don't know. Last time I heard Diablo was doing shitty, but I could be wrong about that. Games for Impact. Well, there's a sixth game included. Wait, was there a sixth game every time and I just never noticed? Oh no, I guess that one just has six games for some reason. Well, here's the thing. Here's the problem. They never tell you what the they never tell you what the freaking meaning is, like it's like a pro-social meaning or message. It's like, yeah, what's what's the meaning and message then? <laughs> if uh, you know, that if you're including it on here, that's the that's another problem. Is they always say like, oh, best game for doing this thing, and I'm like, okay, well, what did this game do? <laughs> they never answer that. Here's another one: and in, in innovation and in accessibility. Okay, what did Black Ops Six do for accessibility? That's what I'm like. That's all. Oh, that's the question I always wonder. I never understand that shit half the time. It's like you're telling me a Black Ops Six has more accessibility than the other Black Ops games. What does that mean, bro? It's like, are you telling me like my uh, my colorblind dog is gonna be able to play the game better than if he picked up and played Black Ops One or something? It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> what I would say if I had a bullet colorblind dog. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't know half of these people, except for Luke Roberts. He did a fantastic job as James Sunderland. That's the only thing I can comment on here. Because, um, you know, it's, it's another weird thing. They don't even tell you who these people voice. They just say like, oh, here's this person. You're just expected to know. <laughs> well, they'll probably figure it out. I mean, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has good voice acting. Is she the voice of Aerith? Because if she is, then, um... I can agree, because, you know, that singing scene at the very end of Rebirth is pretty good from what I know. 
Oh, and the website broke. No, come back, Game Awards. Okay, it's back. Best audio design. Mmm. Well, I can't speak on behalf of Call of Duty, but, um, you know, Final Fantasy's always had some good music, and Silent Hill 2 has some amazing atmosphere. So, there is that. I like how both of the games I'm talking about are for games that I've already played, but the original versions and not the remakes. <laughs> eh, just goes to show you, I don't play any modern games. Best score in music. Oh yeah, I always forget, they fucking... They fucking consider uh, sound design and audio and music like different things, different categories. Which is another thing I find really confusing. So, I'm just gonna repeat what I said here. Well, Metaphor, you know, it's got the Atlas sound team on it, so it's probably good. It probably sounds good. But I wouldn't know. I've never played Metaphor, and I probably won't. At least not for a long time. But, and I'd honestly say, t this was a pretty good year for gaming. I know, uh, some people will say, like, oh, this was the fucking worst year of gaming ever, dude. And then some people, like me, will say, like, oh, this is, like, the best year in gaming. I don't know. It really depends on just, like, what your gaming preferences are, though. Like, if there's a lot of games that you really, that really interested you, you're gonna naturally say, like, oh, yeah, this year was great, dude. Like, in my case, I got two Mario RPGs. Uh, I got a decent Mario Party game. You know, I got to play, um... Well, <laughs> how many games did I actually play this year that were actually new, though, is the question. Because... I rarely play a lot of brand new games. I always play a bunch of old crap because it's easier to access and play on my PC. Because my PC can't run a lot of new shit anyways. So, this is kind of the thing. I don't really have anything to say on best art direction. Best narrative. So that's like, you know, best storytelling. Again, can't speak on behalf of any of these games. But, you know, because two of these are remakes, one of them is like, well, well, you know, like, not, I mean, usually, usually most Atlas games have good stories, and, you know, I've heard good things about the Yakuza series, so, you know, I'm curious to see who will win that one. Alright, is it broken still? Best game direction. See, that's another thing. What do you mean by best game direction? <laughs> it just says outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. So are you telling so basically are you telling me like the game is unique and creative? <laughs> well, I mean honestly, I I'd say that's pretty accurate for these. I mean, I don't know much about Bellatro, but from what I've heard it's like some sort of like it's like it's like a card game but with a twist. Astrobot is pretty creative too, from what I heard. You know, it's like it's like kind of like Sony's new little mascot now at this point. Um, and, uh, well, I mean, so, only so much can be said about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and taking what FF7 did and kind of being, taking creative liberty with it, you know? Well, maybe, Ho maybe Jose can, uh, wait, it's just the same games again, what the fuck? Bro, it's just the same fucking games again. Wait, wait, hang on. No metaphors in there. Oh, uh, you thought you could be sneaky and hide that from me, huh? Okay, well, hang on. If I zoom out, will it show all the games? Bro, this is fucking stupid. I have to zoom out 67% for all the games to fit on the screen. <laughs> Why? Okay, well, if I zoom out like this, now you can see the games. Hold on, let me look at that on my stream. Yeah, now you can see the games. So, what's gonna win? Astrobot, Bolatro, Black Myth with Kong. I don't even know what the fucking fuck that game is. Elden Ring. I mean, I mean, it's Elden Ring. <laughs> well, hang on. What is it? Is this the full name of Elden Ring, or is this like an expansion for Elden Ring or something? I don't know. And then uh, you got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You know, obviously, that's good. And then Metaphor. Man, is Metaphor really that fucking good that they decided to include it as Game of the Year potential? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never played it, but 
for me, a game of the year would be something like Mario and Luigi Brothership, but I'm being based at this point. So, yeah, that those are the um, those are the nominees. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna what do you call it? Uh, draw this out that much longer. I just wanted to have a look at them and you know, kind of give my thoughts on them. I'll be curious to see uh, what wins game of the year. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be a pretty big deal if, uh, you know, Bellatro wins. Because isn't that made by an indie studio? Or, I don't I actually don't know who made it, but I'm, I'm dumb. Ugh, my hair is being dumb as well. There's like this one strand. There's just one strand of hair that's just kind of there. Yeah, whatever. Go, go away, hair. Go away. Okay, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah. So, well, um, I guess I'll see you guys at the Game Awards. I'm gonna invite as many people as possible. The more people that are there, the less shitty it's gonna be. <laughs> because I I have yet to have a really, really amazing Game Awards. Because, you know, I want as many people to be there as possible. But some people end up not showing up, which is uh, unfortunate, you know. So, yeah. What is it on? Like, December 6th or something? It's usually around then. So, when that... It, it, okay, you know what? Let me, let me double check. Um... Well, let's ask let's ask Brave a good old question. When is Game Awards 2024? It's uh oh it's December 12th. That's a lot farther away than I thought. Is it on a Thursday again? Yes, it is. They always have it on Thursday for some reason. I don't know why Thursday specifically. It'd be nicer if it was on a Friday because then more people would be free, you know. But oh well, what can you do? I guess. So hopefully we get as many people as possible, but uh, being realistic, there's probably only going to be like, I don't know, like two or three people, because <laughs> most people don't fucking show up. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go, so I'll see you guys then.